What's up? This is Kid for 614. And in this segment, we're going to talk more about Blaze Mafia family. Um, J Dub should be giving me a call here soon. He's the godfather of the team. So, you know, we're trying to get that money. You know what I'm saying? So, if you're about money, you need to really, if you really want to pursue a career in professional video games, or just professional video game in general, you need to follow along with this. Because this is a very important video. You know what I'm saying? I'll be the student. I'll be the Welcome, J Dub, to the Kickflip 614 show. Say what's up to everyone. What's good, everybody? It's J Dub. Let them know who you are, what you represent. I told him you were the godfather of Blazer Mafia. I told I told I told the viewers that you were the godfather of Blazer Mafia and that if they want to pursue a career in professional video gaming, they need to watch this video. Yes. As Blazing Mafia family's leader, I have three models. <clears throat> one is family respect, the other one is let us stick it in water and <clears throat> excuse me. I'm kinda sick right now. <clears throat> and the other one is respect and power. As Blazing Mafia family, we have we are a gaming we are a gaming organization. A team. We have graphic shops. We train people. We go to, we go to small competitions as best as we can. We do GameBattles.com. We participate in MLG events. We were as death dealers. We were going to participate in the Rainbow Six Vegas Pro Pro Circuit, but no competition. We started in 2004 on some small game called Jedi Academy as a recreational team decided to step it up and go into real gaming so then we did the Halo 3 Pro Circuit, the free one, participated in it, we went 5 and 2, our team got disbanded, from there I started spreading into the other games, becoming a multi-game plan, we went from Halo 3 to Call of Duty, our team there was 21 and 11. Then we went to Gears of War. Our team there was 10 and 3. Okay. It's just spreading and spreading. That's what's and up. Now, um, I gotta say one thing though. Um, me being the co-leader now of uh, Blaze and Mafia family, we uphold a very, a very strong policy on team playing and dedication. Um, I value those very high. Because I want to be able to trust you. When you come on to our team, you got to be able to play. Like, I need your phone number. You got to be able to. When I call you, you got to be ready. You know what I'm saying? You got to be yeah, putting Yeah, Blazing Mafia is all about communication. Everyone knows that that is the number one damn rule of Blazing Mafia's family. Have communication on the field and off the field. Mm-hmm. On and off the field. And with that communication, I believe that we can succeed in what we're doing with MLG, WCG, and whatever else comes away. Right now we are concentrating on the first person shooters. We will be branching out to um sports games. Mm -hmm. And whatever else they want to throw in the loop. So because that's what we do. We also go to gamersaloon.com. We uh we bet money on games. Up to five hundred dollars, you can bet money. So you go to gamersaloon.com, type in the referral code kick six one four, you know that's my gamer tag. Uh, you type that in, you get a bonus. We got the site going down. I'm the original founder of Death Dealers. We was a very big team on uh, Rainbow Six Vegas. We did very well. Um, and now, now we're working on the MLG for 2009. So. What are some of your goals for the team? My goal for the team is to represent all first-person shooter games at MLG events. I want, I want to broaden, like, I want to be based on not just 
But that's the problem, though. See? Yeah. And right now I'm working on this on this clan system, this thing that will help clans, all the beginner clans that are having problems with like left die, having problems with a bunch of things. It's called Blazing Clan. Blazing is a clan support program. Blazing Mafia will personally help clans get a better website, a better program within their clan so that their clan will be training, will have strategies and etc. And they'll Right now, we're right now we got we got an energy drink lined up. We got our own music, and we got clothing line coming out. You know, t-shirts, hats, all that stuff. We have our own graphics company too, so we we do a lot of in-house in-house production. But enough with the technical stuff. Let's get into the last three minutes of what it takes to become a professional gamer. And my my number one thing would have to be communication and dedication. Yes, because there's like they always say, if you want it bad, you will get it. And you gotta sacrifice. If I mean, if you can't if you can't find four hours a day, because being on the team literally becomes a part time job. You know what I'm yes, saying? You would be online every day from anywhere from two hours to eight hours. And that's just a requirement. Like, if you can't do it, then find another team. Because we we select only the best. And when I say that, I mean I can strongly represent that because I'm in the top 500 on Rainbow Six. And now I'm branching out to Halo 3. And I'm not too shabby on Halo 3. And I'm very good on Call of Duty. So, looking at, looking forward to yeah. Modern Warfare 2. Join Blazing Mafia, you're going to have to want it. Because I will... Me, I will personally know if you want to go pro or not because of the things I did for Blazing Mafia Family. Blazing Mafia Family would have been dead right now, just like Black Mafia Family, White Mafia, and MOB. We're one of the last of the, of the Mafia families in the gaming industry. Check this out. I aim for the sun, at least I landed on the moon for now. I aim to become pro. I'm now, right now, I'm being picked for yeah. semi pro. Will bug me a little bit on Rainbow Six, but you know I'll still kick his ass. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. And it got it got to the point that it wasn't just MLG I was trying to become a part of. I went to other gaming websites trying to take over, you know. You got you got to build up that network and credibility. And something yeah. that I haven't shared with you, um, I've actually gotten several offers over the last couple of weeks to join several other teams. And I, I had declined them all. I'm like, look, I'm sticking with this team. I used to run Perfect Dark Veterans on uh, Perfect Dark Zero when that game came out. And, you know, we were literally known as the top five teams in the world. Like, we had several of our members in the top ten on the leaderboard. So, and we still are in the top 50, even though no one really plays that game. But, like I said, it's all about branching out. This year, I'm concentrating on... Uh, the sports games, we're branching out to all the different games right now. Uh, J-Dub, are you familiar with that show, Ultimate Gamer? Yeah. Okay, you know they got season two, right? You bet. I better see you on that. Yes. They better see me on that. That is what the world is demanding because you know I will make that show unbelievably so much drama, so much fun. Like, what's going to happen next? But we in the last 30 seconds. Um... We're gonna do. We're gonna come back after commercial break, and we're gonna talk more about in depth on on how to join, how to become a part of Blazing Mafia, and how to step into the ranks of uh, professional gaming, and what defines professional gaming. Sponsored by sponsored by Entertaining Streaming Yes. All right. Go ahead and shout out that website where they can go and get all the info for the team, man www.blazingmafiafamily.web, which is webs.com. Yeah. All right. We will see you after the break. Make sure you holler at us. Make sure you go. You need car insurance, VIP insurance. That info. Check us out, man. Google us. We everywhere. 